Hello, and welcome podcast listeners. My name is Ellen Stewart, and I am the pushy broad from the Bronx. Thanks so much for choosing to listen in today. I think that if you're going to do a weekly podcast, then you should have a weekly theme song to start the show. So, with the help and creative talent of my sound man, songwriter, composer, and musician, Sam Goche, here is my original theme song. She's the pushy broad from the Bronx, New York. Follow her voice, a straight dog is nice. She's the pushy broad from the Bronx, oh yeah. Don't be surprised if you want to listen twice. Make decisions, find the right choice Know yourself better, find your own voice It's okay if you need help today Cause everybody needs a little push From the pushy broad From the Bronx, New York Here is the wonderful and talented Taylor Goche With information that we are required to produce We've tried to make this enjoyable for you to hear Professional coaches provide an ongoing partnership designed to help clients produce fulfilling results in their personal and professional lives. Coaches help people improve their performances and enhance the quality of their lives. Coaching services received from certified life coach Ellen Stewart, the pushy broad from the Bronx, are not offered as a substitute for professional mental health care or medical care and are not intended to diagnose, treat or cure any mental health or medical conditions. The pushy broad from the Bronx is not acting as a mental health counsellor or a medical professional. All comments and ideas offered by Ellen Stewart, the pushy broad from the Bronx, are solely for the purpose of aiding her audience in achieving their goals and hopefully keeping you smiling in the process. I am delighted to bring you my weekly podcast program, which I hope will inspire you, coach you, make you laugh, and give you the push moment you need to move forward. Since this is my first episode, I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you what our mission is and give you an idea of who I am and what the format of this show will be like. So spend the next 15 minutes or so with me now and maybe you'll add me to your list of weekly shows. First, you may be wondering, why have I decided to call myself the pushy broad from the Bronx? Well, I'm a born and raised Bronx girl and spent over 30 years living there. Although I no longer reside in the Bronx, I always remember my youth and my Bronx roots. The Bronx is the home of one of the largest zoos in the world, one of the greatest baseball teams ever, and amazing botanical gardens, outstanding colleges, and home to Edgar Allan Poe in his final years of life. The Bronx also has amazing pizza and Italian food in its own little Italy, its own beach called Orchard Beach, its own tiny island called City Island, and its own Bronx Equestrian Center. The Bronx is also the place where hip hop was born. Look it up, I'm serious. Any Bronx person will tell you that there is a true sense of pride to say that you were a Bronx girl or a Bronx guy. The Bronx, of course, is one of the five boroughs of New York City. And since I have lived in the Bronx, Staten Island and Manhattan, taught school in Queens, and went to school in Brooklyn, that truly makes me a five borough New Yorker. And the pushy broad part? Well, that comes from learning to speak my mind. It also comes from what I call Bronx tough, willing to stand up for what I believe willing to be heard and not back down. When I think that my opinion matters, you will hear it. Willing to push my clients and my listeners. As a certified life coach who is part drill sergeant and part cheerleader, Go you! always in your corner, letting you know that I care and helping to push your success forward. Everybody needs push moments reasons for doing the things that we do. A push moment can help to define your next move or help you change direction, make a different decision, allow you to find your own voice, 
or even just help you to get through the day. Men, women of all ages, we all need that extra push in life sometimes. You know the kind I'm talking about. Often we lose sight of things, we tap out, we start to ignore all of the things that we don't want to hear. We want to make that change, but we need someone like a pushy broad to show us the way. The true mission of this show is to discover all of the push moments and to recognize their importance. As a certified life coach, I have witnessed and also helped to provide many amazing push moments that have helped to change, enrich, and redefine choices in the life of my clients. This program will talk about how we arrive at those moments. And who knows? Maybe this weekly podcast will help give you your push moments. My push moment came from a life coaching client of mine who at the conclusion of our coaching sessions said to me, Ellen, it would be great if I could have you in my ear when I needed you. And there it was, the push that I needed to begin these weekly podcasts. My weekly podcast will be launched every Monday. My podcast will run approximately 30 minutes in length and will be divided into enjoyable and different segments. I will do interviews when I feel that my guests have amazing push moments that they want to share with you. Not all of the podcasts will be interviews, but all of the podcasts will talk about real-life questions and push moments. With their permission, my audience and my clients will help guide those topics. My first segment is the Everybody Needs a Little Push part of this podcast. It's where I talk to you about what the push moments have been for my clients or my listeners. Maybe it's been a defining moment because you have listened to a previous podcast and now you've made a positive change in your life. Maybe it's been a book you have read or a phrase or a word you have heard or an experience you have had that you would like to share. We will spend a few minutes relating these positive short stories so that we can all benefit from your experience. I will be eager to hear from you. I'd like to know the following. What was your push moment? How did you arrive there? What helped you get there? What did you do as a result of your push moment? The Everybody Needs a Little Push segment will start like this. Everybody, everybody. We've all had a push moment, and the pushy broad from the Bronx wants to hear some of yours. If you'd like to share your most defining moments for her, everybody needs a little push segment, or want to ask a question for her no or yes segment, or maybe you want to share your 10 minutes of tears moment, you can email her at ellen at pushybroadfromthebronx.com. We love reading all of your comments, questions, and push moments. You can be a part of an amazing group of people and get more access to the Pushy Broad from the Bronx by becoming a part of her email list. If we air your question or comment on the Pushy Broad from the Bronx podcast, for privacy purposes, we will change your name to protect the innocent. Or the guilty. We don't know. We're not judging. If you aren't ready to share with her just yet, or if you want more Pushy Broad from the Bronx goodness, Join her Facebook group. Follow her on Instagram and Twitter. Be sure to check out her website, pushybroadfromthebronx.com. When you need quick answers to things, when you need the push to finally make a decision about something, my second segment is called No or Yes. It's where I take questions from you pushy broads and pushy bros out there, and I answer them straight up, no BS. We all look for answers, and sometimes we need to just pick one way and stick with it, because it's the best path for us to take. 
A lot of times in life, we make excuses, we stay in denial or overanalyze things, leaving us in a constant state of irresolution. Here, you will find quick answers, straight up, yes or no, to help you find clarity. Sometimes a simple no, what we call a Bronx cheer, or yes, yes. is all you need. Sometimes we just want someone to say, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Or yes, that's a great thing to do. That's a great thing to do. That no or yes becomes the forceful and direct wake-up call to get you moving forward and get you off the treadmill of indecision. You know that should I stay or should I go question? So bring me your no or yes questions. You will find the answers here. That segment will begin like this. When you need a quick answer, no BS. Ask the push she brought and she'll say no or yes. And then there are the more difficult push moments in our lives. The times when we are grieving or in pain and feel the need to cry about it. Or we feel so angry about something that we want to scream and cry about it. it. First, we give ourselves permission to feel sad or angry and do the crying we need to do. But we can't live with that pain or anger or sadness forever. So this is where we take the time to acknowledge it and hopefully get some relief. Then we pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and start all over again. I call this third segment, 10 Minutes of Tears. My passion is helping people, and one of the keys to coaching is to help clients realize that there are ups and downs in life, good times and bad times. Accepting the sweet with the bittersweet is not easy all the time. We get frustrated, sad, angry, depressed. We temporarily lose it, whatever you want to call it. A lot of us may spend a lot of time feeling that way. Sometimes feeling that way can take too much of our time, forcing us to stay and live in that sadness or anger or fear. The point of 10 minutes of tears are to help remind people that things always get better. We can feel those negative or sad emotions, but we cannot dwell on them. We cannot live there forever. We accept our roadblocks because we know they are there, and I will give you suggestions to help you find ways to move forward, or sometimes cry about it, or laugh it off, and try to find happiness through all of it. So we all get 10 minutes of tears, because it may just be enough time to give us the push we need to move forward. So bring me your 10 minutes of tears moment, and we will address them in a segment that will start like this. When you're feeling sad and kind of blue, rather lost and not really in it. Don't stay angry, lost or confused. Ten minutes of tears is certainly for you. Please cry, but only for ten minutes. My fourth segment is called I'm Talking Here. I'm Talking Here. It's where I pick one subject like decision-making, relationship questions, learning how to think differently, awareness, letting go, building positive outcomes, a multitude of topics, addressing personal and professional change, and begin talking about it, breaking it down. It's where I let the pushy broad come out completely and offer suggestions that will give you your push moment of the day or of the week. We pay attention, we all listen, and we all learn. This segment will start like this. I know that you have noticed the sound effects that have accompanied our time together. I truly believe that every part of our life has its own sound effect 
and like to include them as we project a lighter side to our audience and our listeners. We hope that you will enjoy them as much as we do. All of these segments talk about embracing our life in a meaningful and positive way. There will be new and different segments to come. We all know how life changes and alters on the fly. Sometimes we have to get pushy and face things in life. We need that push moment to readjust, reconstruct, renew, rejoice, and recharge to get us through the next minute, the next hour, or the next day. Since this is our first episode, I have recorded two additional episodes for your listening pleasure. Episode 2 is called, Sex Changes Everything. You might find that interesting. The Pushy Broad from the Bronx would like to thank her production team, songwriter, composer, musician, and sound man, Sam Goche, voice artist and announcer, Taylor Goche, oh, (laughs) that's me, and thanks to collaborative writer and assistant production manager, Richard Torres, virtual assistant and social media guru, Kimberly Studdard, Special thanks to Laura Kravitz, production manager, and Susan Herman, collaborative writer. And a very special thanks to Love Love Studios in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, for recording and mixing our music. This is Ellen Stewart, the Pushy Broad from the Bronx, saying thanks for listening. And remember, everybody needs a little push. push. From the Pushy Broad from the Bronx, New York.